In this video, I'll show you how to connect your HP NVI 6452E or any HP NVI printer that looks just like this one, even some pro models, to your smartphone. And I'll also show you how to print and scan directly with the printer. So let's get started right away. On the back of the printer over here under the power button, there is a Wi-Fi button, the one that is round, and you'll need to keep it pressed during three seconds. And once you keep it pressed, you'll notice that this light over here will turn to purple. So let me do it and you'll see what I mean. So I'm pressing it right now, two, three. Now I release it and the light turns to purple. Perfect. This means that this printer is in pairing mode. Now take your smartphone, it could be an Android device or an iPhone, it's the same exact process and you'll go and download the HP Smart App in the App Store or Google Play Store. It should look just like this one over here, HP Smart made by HP Inc. So download it, in my case I'll just update it. Once the app is downloaded, just launch it. So this is the main menu of the app. I have already connected a printer in the past, so this is why I'm seeing it. But if you didn't connect any printer, you're gonna see add printer here, a big button you need to click on. If you don't see it, don't worry, just click on the plus symbol on the top right corner over here, and then tap on get started. From here, you're gonna select Wi-Fi and press continue. Continue. Then on this list, you should see NVIVE 6400 series. You're gonna tap on it. And here, this is your Wi-Fi network of your home. Maybe it's the one at your office if you're actually located there. You'll need to tap the password of this Wi-Fi network. Once you're done, press continue. At this step, they ask us to press the I button that is located right over here. Just press it once and then the setup will continue on your phone. Then you'll receive the message that the printer is connected to the Wi-Fi. You're going to press the continue button. Then at this step, it's up to you if you want to accept uh, what they propose here. I suggest that you decline optional data because I never encourage you to share your personal data with um, companies like HP. Then from this screen, you're going to press do not activate HP+. Not that I am against this program, it's just I think you need time to read about it and get informed before accepting it. So you can always go back and accept the HP Plus program. Don't worry, decline HP Plus here. Continue. They're really push, continue. They are really pushy about it. And um, yeah, I think you should uh, read this and see if it fits your lifestyle and your budget first before accepting it. Next step, I suggest you select do not enable ink delivery again. Not that is a bad program. I'm actually enrolled in it. You just, you, you need time to read everything about it before accepting. And I don't think you're uh, in a good position right now to make a decision. So just skip the offer and you can read this after and check reviews and what people say about it. Here, I recommend you select auto update. This is for the firmware, so you don't have to worry about it. Apply. And finally, it will ask if you want to print a document right now, a test document. Again, I think it's not worthy. You're just going to waste some ink for something that won't be useful. So skip printing page. Not right now. And finally, after everything we just did, you'll be in the main menu of the HP app. And you should see over here, HP NVI 6400 series on the top with your ink levels. Now, if you want to use the app to print, to scan, to do any other things that you see over here, you'll need to log into your HP account. 
if you don't log if in your HP account or if you don't have any account, this won't work. To create an account, it's free. You can go over here where it says account and create one in just a few seconds and you'll be good to go. Now, let me show you how to print and scan. So let's say you want to scan a document. What do you need to do? Well, this HP printer has two scanners. One of them is here and the other one is the top feeder that is located over there. If you have multiple pages, if you have a document with let's say 10 or 15 pages, it's better just to put them here. If you have just one page you want to scan, well, it's quicker to use this uh, scanner. I'll show you how to do with both of them. So I have three pages here. Let's say I want to scan these. I'll use the top feeder here. I'll place these facing up. Actually, it's better to place them with the top part of the page first. Like this, the printer will make a noise just to confirm that there is some paper there. And on this app, you're going to select printer scan. Then on the top here, you're going to tap and going to select source document feeder. Then go back. Here you can select the resolution if you want the copy to be in color. This is up to you to change if you prefer that to be um, in black and white. And when you're ready, you're just going to tap this button. The printer will do everything by itself. So it will take page by page and scan them. You don't have to touch anything. You don't have to push them. Just wait until uh, the printer is done. Okay, the printer has finished scanning the documents and now I'm just going to look over here. The printer will do some kind of a jingle and all my three copies will appear like that. If one of them is upside down, let's say this one, it's upside down, just tap this button here and it will rotate to the desired position. At this point, you can print what you just scan or you can save it or even share it on your email, Facebook, whatever. Let me show you how to use the other type of scanner that this printer has. It's very easy. You're going to take your paper and you'll need to uh, put it facing down with the top part in this direction. Okay, so this is the top part. I'll put it like this and you're going to align it with this corner over here. What I mean is you need to glide the paper until it goes right in this corner. Then you can close this lid on the app while well, here I will just say yes, start a new scan. Go on the top at the source instead of document feeder, we're going to select scanner glass. Go back. And this is important. If you're scanning some pictures and you need uh, many details in your scan, in the resolution here, you're going to tap and you're going to select the highest number, which is 300 DPI. In my case, I'm just scanning some text and it's just to show you how it works. So I'll just keep it at 200. Here again, you can select if you want it in color or not. Go back and when you're ready, you're going to press this white button on the bottom. And you just have to wait. If you're scanning a picture, it will take more time than if you're scanning a document at 200 DPI. Okay, so here we have the scan. If you want to modify these, you can just drag them to align it with the actual page of your document. If not, just press next on the top. And from here, you can rotate the document like I just showed you. You can print, share, save, do whatever you want to do with these buttons on the bottom. Now, let me show you how to print a document using your smartphone. So you're going to go in the HP app and from here, you're going to go down and you'll have to choose between print photos or print documents. In my case, I want to just print a document, a regular text document. So I'll select this one. Your document should be in PDF or maybe in JPEG. So just select if you're is in, in JPEG format, my photos, if it's a PDF, 
choose the first option and then on your smartphone you're gonna go and depends where your document is located mine is in my document so this is easy but maybe yours is in download you're gonna go there and find them tap on the document you want to print then once the document opened press print over here before going further make sure that you have some paper inside of your paper tray And here you're going to select how many copies of this document you want. Do you want it to be on two sided or one side color? All these things is up to you to decide depending on what you're printing. And when you're done, you're going to extend this small flap and you're going to press this blue button. And we are done. This is the printed document that was on my phone. So this is it. This is how you connect your phone and also how to scan and print from it. I hope this tutorial was useful. If so, please leave a like, comment down below because this is helping my channel, believe it or not, and subscribe. Thanks and I'll see you in the next one.